What's up guys, welcome back, and today we are going to be drawing, um, and I have a eraser, a, fine, a sharpie fine liner, and a pencil, and I'm going to be drawing, not a character, but a scenery, I'm going to draw a scenery, just like a landscape, nothing too crazy, um, so yeah, so we're going to get into it right now, here's my paper, and we're going to start right now. Um, I'm going to give you guys a better view in just a second. Got to fix you guys right here. Alright. Alright. I think we're good now. And first we're going to start off with, we're going to do like, um, like a tree. Like on this side. And then we're going to do a landscape over here. So we're going to start off with the tree. We're just going to start from down here. I'm going to work our way. That's our little base right there. And uh, keep in mind, guys, it's not going to be perfect because I'm just doing a sketch. And also, I don't do sceneries all that much. I do paint sceneries, but I don't draw very much. Draw sceneries very much. Um, so we'll see how this goes, but we're just going to start off with... So I, all I have is just a line. <laughs> so don't think that anything crazy has happened yet. Now, we're going with... So far, that's my tree. And if you guys want to follow along, it's all we're literally just a little line across like that. And then it's going to come across. And sorry for the cameraing. I'm not, I don't have all that high tech stuff that other people have. All right. And then I'm going to make it have the branch almost go out of the picture and we're going to have it come back in and go out of the picture again at the top and that's going to be the base of our tree so that's all you need to have down that's all just a big loop starting from here all the way down and that's going to be the shape of our tree and then right here um, excuse the splots, it kind of, the paper's a little messed up. Um, we're going to put some leaves along the branch. So, let's get started with that. Put one right here. Alright. Do another one. We're going to draw the big branch this time. one right here and we're not done with all the leaves just this one branch and I'll show you guys my leaves when I'm done so when you're drawing your leaves just remember it's just just a normal shape of a leaf it's as simple as that That's a weird looking leaf. That's why I got an eraser. Sometimes you mess up. Sorry, I'm shaking it a little bit. All right. There we go. And two more branches left. Another weird looking <laughs> leaf. I'm not being consistent with these leaves. That's all right because, as Bob Ross says, nature is nature, and you can't you you can't change it. <laughs> so it's natural. Not everything's gonna look the exact same. All right, last leaf right here. All right, that wasn't the last leaf, by the way. There was one more leaf. <laughs> 
right now this is the last leaf all right sorry that the leaves took so long but that's the leaves that's it just at the very top just draw some branches it doesn't have to look exactly like mine it can be anything that you want the pattern anything can be different just draw some leaves up there imagine it now we're going to work on the tree and this is actually going to be a birch tree so it's going to have green leaves well we're not going to color today we're just going to draw and it's going to have green leaves with um the little brown um um, patterns on the birch tree so we're gonna start with the pattern so we're just gonna go like this and you're just gonna put them throughout it doesn't matter what direction just put them throughout the birch tree and but leave room keep in mind leave room around in the middle of the big long part right here about in the middle, leave a little gap. Because right there, we're gonna add a little like like um raccoon's den area. Because we want to make it look like an actual scenery. So we're gonna do a couple more lines. And we're probably almost done. No matter you can put these wherever you want, you can put as much as you want, but like I said, that middle part of the tree that I pointed out just a second ago. Do not put anything there. All right, now uh, I've drawn my lines, as you can see. And this little area right here, this little gap does not have anything. Make sure that you have that as well, a little gap. I mean, maybe you don't wanna have a little raccoon den or anything in your drawing, and you don't have to. That's just what I'm doing. And it's your creation, you can do anything you want. So we're just gonna, so, okay, so those of you who are doing a raccoon den, um, all you're going to do is just draw like a little oval shape. It's going to like, and it's going to connect over here. Um, and those of you who are not going to do it, um, you can just skip ahead in the video until I start working on the next part. All right. So all you're going to do is that circle right there. Okay. That's all you're going to do. Then you're going to start in the middle of that circle right here right in the middle of the circle and you're going to make like a little spiral shape i'll show you in a second when i'm done all you're going to do you're going to do a little spiral shape in the middle it's going to like see right there it's a little spiral shape all right that's all you need to do and keep in mind, you can pause whenever you need to. You don't have to go at my pace. All right, and then we're gonna add one more little outline. Just like that. So outside of the spiral, you're gonna just do a line. Pretty much another circle, but a mini circle. Once you have that down, now we're gonna start working on the other things. So now what we're gonna work on is a river. We're gonna draw a bit of a river. So our river's gonna start right here. I'll show you guys in a second. And we're gonna leave a little space like that. All right, so we've drawn one side of the river right there, but leave a little gap in between the tree and the line because there's gonna be a bush there later on in the video. So just keep in mind of that gap. Do one other little part, and it's gonna go across over here. All right, you're just gonna have a little loop that starts about the top of the raccoon's den, and it's gonna curve all the way down here to the bottom. Okay, you can do whatever shape you want. That's just the shape that I chose. Yeah, you can do whatever shape you want. It's your drawing or painting or however version you're doing it is. And then, speaking of those bushes, we're going to add those right now. So, in the little space right here, this little space, you're going to just draw a bush. Whatever shape, it doesn't matter, just a bush. <laughs> Should be simple enough. Let's do a simple bush. 
and do whatever shape you want. I'm going for a more realistic shape, but all right, you don't have to do everything that I'm doing. All right, keep in mind to keep it a little darker around the edges of the bush and towards the bottom if you're coloring it in. All right, that's my bush. Keep in mind, I'm not the best drawer. I'm just a decent, I'm just a 12 year old kid. <laughs> so, just doing this for fun. All right, so now you got your bush done. This lower area at the bottom, you're gonna draw another bush right here. You can draw as big as, I don't know. You can just draw it however you want. You can draw it however big you want, whatever shape you want, doesn't matter. Um, just just make sure that it's a and it's not the exact same shape as your last one. Like mine is going a little crazy right now, but that's okay because it's nature. All right, so now that you have the bush down there done, I, I went a little crazy with it, but now that you got that done, we're gonna move on to some trees in the back ground. So we finished, the tree is supposed to be in the foreground. So how it's set up is the foreground. If you're to take a picture, it would be, this would be the front and this would be in the, the back of the picture behind the tree. And then now we're gonna go even farther and it's gonna be like a plane, really far. So right now you're just gonna draw a line. It doesn't matter where, just above the river. It has to be above the river and below the leaves. It can be anywhere though. I, that's just where I chose to draw my line. This line right here. And we got that done. Um, you can do some little trees in the background. You can do a mountain, whatever you want to do. I'm going to do trees, but you can do whatever you want. And for these trees, I'm not going to make them super detailed. I'm just drawing. What you're going to do is you're just going to draw. Instead of making a bunch of details, I'm literally just going to draw a bunch of lines up and down. And... Every line, it'll go like a high line, a long line, a short, a short line. It'll be all different sizes. That's how you're gonna start. So, and remember, you can draw detailed trees, you can draw mountains, whatever you wanna do. Um, I'll have d a different videos on painting and um, drawing, but I'll have different videos in the future on mountains and stuff like that. So, if you wanna keep in, if you wanna watch those, then just make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. And turn on the notification bell to never miss an upload. <laughs> and you're just gonna go up and down. It might take a while, but it's worth it in the end. And for you artists out there, I bet you're better than me, but <laughs> we'll see about <laughs> that i'm kidding <laughs> all right i'm about a little more than halfway done you guys can see my paper a little bit and it's okay if it doesn't look how you wanted it remember it doesn't have to be perfect it can be a little abstract at sometimes All right, and I am done with mine. Keep in mind, if you are not caught up with me, you can always pause the video or rewind it. And I'm done with my tree. And if you want to, you can add like a little like um, scribbly line, like almost like how you did the bushes, but at the bottom of the trees. And it'll just make it look a little more um, in depth um, as you do it. And we are almost done. But if you want to, you can color this in. It'll probably look a lot better. But now, literally, you can draw anything you want in this hill, in this um, plane. Like, you literally, you can do anything. Um, I'm not going to do anything for this video. But if you want to, um, if you want to add anything in that plane, you can. And um, right now, I'm just going to add some highlights in the water, and then we'll be done. So... Highlights, I am not the best at, but I can do when when um, when I have to. Or I don't necessarily have to, but when I want to, I can. So, literally, you can just do a couple couple lines wherever you want. 
doesn't have to be perfect, like I said. All right, I just do a couple lines. That's all I do. A couple lines. And for those of you that are coloring, if you have one of these laying around, this can work. Hold on. It's right this can work. One of these. It's like a big white pencil. But what it does is whenever you color, if you write this, if you draw on the um, color, it'll add white to it in those areas. So if those of you that are drawing, you can use this and you can draw over your river and make some highlights. Um, but overall, that will conclude this video. But the first thing that you want to always do, or not the first thing, but the last thing that you want to always do whenever finishing a painting or a drawing, is you want to sign it. If you can't draw cursive, that's fine. Just do your initials. If you, if you like, if um, you think that you don't write your name very good, if you think that you have sloppy writing, anything like that, don't worry about it. It's a painting and it, or it's a drawing, not a painting, sorry. It's a drawing, like, it doesn't have to be perfect. And you have, you have your own style of writing. So for me, I'm just going to do my first name and the first letter of my last name in cursive. So do it right here. Right. See, that's my signature right there. Yeah, you guys sign it. And that will conclude today's video. Hopefully, you have a drawing like I do. And I hope that this video in some way helped you in drawing. And I hope that you guys have a nice day. And I'll post in a couple days. I'll see you. All right.